And when Javante Davis became world champion after beating Jose Pedraza, the hate for him began. And I don't think that was fair because you guys didn't give that man an opportunity. And the reasons why you didn't give him an opportunity, simple. Floyd Mayweather, black. Javante Davis, black. His boxing fans, black. Three blacks. And that's why you guys hate him. That's what that's why you guys attack his fans. This is that's that's why you that's why you guys attack anybody that defend him. And it and, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just Javante Davis. This is this is with black fighters in general. You guys attack black boxing fans that defend black fighters or defend and support black fighters. Now, this comment here, I want you guys to understand it. I want you guys to understand this comment because this comment here proves what I've been saying about anti-black boxing fans. This guy left this comment in my comment section because I am defending Javante Davis. That's why he left this comment in my comment section. Anti-black content creators criticize other black boxing content creators simply because we support black fighters. We defend them and we support them. These anti-black boxing fans hate the fact that we defend and support black fighters. And because we ask the black boxing community support and defend black fighters, the anti-black content creators uh, makes response videos shaming us just because we are supporting and defending our fighters. At the end of the day, this comment proves what I'm saying. Because if I was bashing and degrading Javante Davis, if I was seeing Javante Davis as this bad guy, something that he's probably viewing Javante Davis as, he would have never left this comment in my comment section. He probably would have been in my comment section telling me that I agree with you 100%. If I was bashing and degrading Javante Davis, calling Javante Davis a woman beater, uh, shaming Javante Davis because of his outside troubles, he would have been in my comment section giving me thumbs up. But since I'm defending, defending Javante Davis, he leaves this in my comment section because it makes him mad at the fact that I'm not looking at Javante Davis through the same set of lenses that he's viewing Javante Davis through. And that's why he's mad. You know, the difference between anti-black boxing fans and black boxing fans is that we don't do what they do. And what I mean by that, when you go to an anti-black boxing content creator's comment section, you will not catch a black boxing fan leaving comments in that anti-black content creator's comment section. Why? It's because we don't care what anti-black content creators got to say about our fighters. We let our fighters prove them wrong. With them, they care. This is why they show up. This is why they listen to our videos. This is why they make response videos. This is why they comment in our comment section. They care. Right? They care what we got to say about our fighters and their fighters. Again, they don't have that much belief in their fighters to the point where whenever someone that's black is dismissing their fighters or giving credit to a black fighter, here they come trying to tell us what, what to say and what not to say. If we're giving credit to black fighters, if we're defending and supporting black fighters, here they come, here they come telling us that we're wrong for that. Whenever we, we criticize a non-black fighter, here they come telling us we're wrong for saying that. But whenever we're bashing and degrading black fighters, they're coming to our comment section telling us, you are a real boxing fan, right? You're not biased. You're fair and unbiased. Whenever we're giving credit to a non-black fighter, here they come telling us, oh, you, you are a true boxing fan. You're not one of those other black guys. Those are the type of comments that black content creators will receive whenever we go against our own. And this is why most of these, con these anti-black content creators are upset. And this is why we're black content creators are always under this microscope. Because anti-black anti-black boxing fans hate the fact that 
black boxing fans are now supporting and defending black fighters. And that's what it all boils down to at the end of the day. Javante Davis in his little hit and run, right? That doesn't define Javante Davis's character. It was a car accident at the end of the day. It's labeled a car accident. The hit and run, you, you know, that's bad, right? That's, that's him breaking the law. But him hitting and running does not define who he is as a person. I'm sure Javante Davis do gives back to charity. He just doesn't need a camera following him whenever he does good deeds. Just like Manny Pacquiao, look at me, look at me, I'm feeding the homeless, feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me giving money to my homeless. You know, you know, Javante, Floyd Mayweather, they don't, they don't need people to see them doing good things. This person and anti-black boxing fans, they, they want, well, they want black fighters to be viewed as the enemy, to be viewed as the villain. And this is why this person brought up uh, Javante Davis's hit and run. Because he wants Javante Davis to be viewed by the public as being the bad guy. Right? Was your unboxing? Javante Davis was filmed putting his hands on his baby mother. Okay. But again, if 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 that is going to define Javante Davis's character, then what, what did that say about Sergey Kovalev? Huh? Because none of you guys talked about Sergey Kovalev beating up a woman. He literally beat up a woman. Javante Davis grabbed his baby mother. Sergey Kovala put hands on a woman, put her in the hospital. But y'all didn't use that to define Sergey Kovala as a man. BDA defended Sergey Kovala. And then you got Jose Zabetta actually punching people that is twice his age at a gym. He punched a person. But y'all didn't use that to define Jose Zabetta. None of you guys even talked about that. Manny Pacquiao, he committed adultery, cheating on his wife. He actually bought a freaking bar in the Philippines just so he can go and get drunk and cheat. You know how people call Errol Spence a drunk and they use that to, to judge Errol Spence? Well, Manny Pacquiao was the same way. Manny Pacquiao used to drink beer and alcohol, drink alcohol you know, every weekend. The man was a party pooper. But y'all didn't, didn't use that to define Manny Pacquiao. Now that Manny Pacquiao then turned his life around, became a, a godly man, you guys have forgot about what he did when he was young. Y'all didn't judge him. Y'all didn't, didn't use what he was doing when he was young uh, and, and as a way to judge him. But when it comes to black fighters, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to what they're doing and what you guys view as bad, you guys, are, you guys use that and you judge them based off what you're using. Now, I don't condone Javante Davis putting his hands on, on his baby mother and dragging her out wherever, wherever they were at. I don't condone it at all. Right. A lot of you guys should not be looking at Javante Davis, you know, the same way you looked at his former boss. And I think that I think his former boss has a lot to do with why he is so hated. A lot of you guys hated Floyd Mayweather. A lot of you racist boxing fans simply hated Floyd Mayweather. And when Javante Davis became world champion after beating Jose Pedraza, the hate for him began. And I don't think that was fair because you guys didn't give that man an opportunity. And the reasons why you didn't give him an opportunity, simple. Floyd Mayweather, black. Javante Davis, black. His boxing fans, black. Three blacks. And that's why you guys hate him. That's why, that's why you guys attack his fans. This is, that's, that's, why you, that's why you guys attack anybody that defend him. And it, it, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just Javante Davis. This is this is with black fighters in general. You guys attack black boxing fans that defend black fighters or defend and support black fighters. Have you guys ever seen a black content creator attack and degrade another non-black content creator just for supporting non-black fighters? Nope. You've never seen it before. You have never seen a black content creator hunt down non-black content creators just for supporting non-black fighters. But you do see non-black content creators hunting down black content creators just for supporting and defending black fighters. 
That's what you do see. 